Okay, well this is day nine on the uh, little jewel thief experiment. And uh, he's still gone, but he died last night. Sometime in the middle of the night, uh, the uh, drive battery went down, and this one stayed up. And then this morning when I looked at him, his eyes were out. <laughs> so I swapped the batteries, and uh, he's been going all day. And uh, it's recharging the dead battery. The one that was dead, or actually was at half a volt, has come back up to about a volt uh, 1.15 or so, and the other one's going back down toward one volt. But I was going to end this at 5 o'clock and take readings, and I did. And then I decided just to let it run, and then I'll probably swap the batteries when I go to bed tonight and see if it'll make it through the night. But uh, this was uh, day 9 uh, today. So I expected it to run about 200 hours, and it has exceeded that. So anyway, that's the story on that. He might make it through the night. He might not. But at this point, they're not going 24 hours between swaps. I'm going to have to do it every 10 or 12 hours, whatever. Um, I may go ahead and stop it tomorrow, just uh, do something else. But uh, that was very successful. The other one's still going. He's, uh, I don't know, day 6 or 7 or something like that. And I may stop him also. But the news for today is the coil and uh, we had a discussion about the coil in the circuit and also capacitance in this circuit affecting the resonance and the runtime and the power so the only thing I had time to do today was wrap another core coil and vary the number of turns on that versus what was running there for nine days just to see if there was a difference in it and if there's possibly a difference in the waveform on the scope and the answer is yes. I added another 10 turns on that core, which is a Radio Shack snap choke core. You see that or not? That's called a snap choke core, and that's what it looks like right there, the Radio Shack part. But um, yeah, I added more turns on that, and it dramatically changed the situation. And these are the same lights, same components that are running over there that ran for um, well, going on over nine days. And uh, there's the amp draw, which is the same, but more light and uh, much different waveform on the scope. Look at these. Now, this is upside down, I've decided. It should be flipped the other way, and I haven't figured out why my scope is showing this, but these are the big back spikes that cause the charging on a charging circuit and uh, this is dramatic compared to the waveform that I showed on my last uh, scope shots which were sinoidal like this they were very sinoidal uh, sine waves and then as I increased the the base voltage they went into a kind of a raggedy thing and um, one of the guys said that they should be sinoidal but I don't think so I think this is what we're looking for these big dramatic spikes and you see the light on this right now I'm going to dial this up this is going to get brighter here cameras compensating for it but look at these waveforms as I do this now this coil actually sings now I'll see if the camera will pick it up And like I say, the light output was dramatically increased, and that waveform is really what I'm looking for. This is the time the coil's on, and this is the back spike firing of it. And like I said, it's upside down. i got to invert this somehow. But I think on this charging battery, I'm getting a much better punch into the charging battery on this uh, type of coil. So... This was 10 more wraps. It was started out with 20 wraps, and I went to 30 wraps. And I think that dramatically increases it. This air coil idea, not a good idea for this circuit. You need a ferrite core, toroidal, toroidal, I think it's called, ferrite core to make that happen. And uh, for what we're trying to do here, which is make a lot of light, uh, and still produce a charge in the charge battery and get something that runs for a week. That's the idea. That's a 30 gauge wire. Uh, like I say, there's 30 turns each on both uh, windings. 
that's the one that I did uh, yesterday, which I'm going to abandon. I, I decided that's not the way to go. That's the way to go right there. It's a ferrite core. So anyway, that's the latest, and that's what my way looks like today on this scope. And uh, there's a the little project. This probably be the last time you see that, because I'll probably stop it tomorrow.